Hi everyone, Shannon here with Mixed Media Minnesota. Um, I hope you're all having a great day and it feels good to be back and playing with my um, specimen cards. I've kind of been mass making them and I thought I would kind of show you my process. So I have all different kinds of sizes here and all different things that I've used. I use um, cardstock, like the thicker cardstock and um, for my, my two pieces, I'll show you here. So this one, um, we'll just move these aside for right now. So this one is, let me see, five by three inches. And I just cut the cardstock and I, I did two of those. And then um, now my punch came. I ordered a punch that does a two inch square so I can get it the same, you know, try and get it the same. It's still a little crooked. I have, it's a little tricky for me to try and get it centered in there. But what I do is I punch them out and then you're gonna put them, you know, back to back on there, and um, and I ink these up and stuff. But I put some ephemera. Some of these are from the Tim Holtz um, uh, field notes and and different things. And I also use some um, washi stickers in some of them. Um, the washi stickers you can kind of see the butterfly through it. You can also see the you know the sticker part, but the ephemera that I have, I don't have the reverse of it, and so it's just white on the back, which is okay. I mean, I now, after I look at them, I wish I would have just kind of distressed the back a little bit, but they're all right, it's fine. Um, so let's just go ahead and, and we'll put these two together. I do sew around them, and I'm not gonna do that on camera. So these ones are all sewn around and ready to decorate, and we'll decorate those, but I'll just put these ones together. Um, they're really simple, I just, Distress the edges. Just I'm using black soot um, distress oxide on these ones. I like I like how the black looks with the black thread and so you can use any kind of ink if you you know d different colors. I was thinking it would be kind of fun to make some with pink and um, put flowers in them in the specimen part. Okay, so I'm just going to ink the back here and make sure, because I'm going to have, I don't want both sides to look the same. You can do it that way, you know, both the same cardstock. I want the back so you can journal on it if you would like. So we have that one inked up. Then what I do is I just take the uh, piece of laminate that I just put some ephemera in there, and I just cut them out and try and get them a little bigger than than the opening on the specimen card. So I don't know if you can see, but I got glitter and dirt on there. So. And then I take the back piece is what I do, and I kind of lay it on there. And then I, I do, I use Fabri-Tac, and I, and I do stitch around them, so I don't worry too much about getting too much glue. I don't want my needle on my sewing machine all gunked up. So what I do is I just kind of put a um, little strip on the bottom that's a lot of strip. <laughs> Let me wipe some of that off. Okay, just enough to catch it. And now remember, you're gonna go face up because this is my back piece. So I try and just center it in there. Make sure all of the sides are over the opening of it. Okay, you don't have to center it in there. You can off-center it, um, whatever you'd like. I am gonna put a little bit on the top of this one just because it moves around and this, the sewing is probably not going to catch it on this one. So I just run a little tiny pea, a little tiny patch of glue on there. Okay, so, and then I'll, oh, I forgot to ink the inside, the insides, guys. Oh no. I don't edit, so you get to see my mistakes with me. I'm just going to peel that off really quick and don't forget to do this. I did this on a couple of them. I forget to ink the opening here. And then about the time I get it glued is when I realize it. So, we'll get that one. Okay, okay let's try this again. <laughs> okay, that's my back, so I'm gonna go this way. And I think my glue is still sticky. Okay, 
So now I'm going to ink this. There is. I'll stitch around it and forget to do that part. I'm not real picky with the distressing. I like them to look worn and grungy. Okay, so then what I would do is I would take this over to my sewing machine and I would stitch around it. And then sometimes they're a little bit off, like you can see this white here. You won't see that after you stitch it and you can just come back you know, with your ink and just kind of show you a little bit. You, you don't see it once you're done with that part of it. So I'm gonna set this one aside and I can sew it later on. Um, same thing here, this is just a different, it's a little bit smaller. This one is four and a half inches by two and a half inches. And this is the top piece and that is inked around and that's the bottom. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing. I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on the very top of it. And then right under that opening. It's just enough to kind of hold it. It's not, not a lot of it. And then again, that's my back, so I'm going to center this in there where I would like that to be. Okay. And I got glue on there, so I'm just going to wipe that off. Okay. And then the top one here, and I go sew it. And we can actually just put a little bit of glue you know, on this part. And then it's ready to be sewn around. Okay, so there we have that one. I just cut these out um, with a X-Acto knife. And um, I, don't, I don't like doing that. And I cannot cut straight at all, so that's why I ordered a punch. And I don't have a punch in this size for these size, but so I just cut those ones, but I'm gonna bring this one back so I don't lose the two pieces. And I'm gonna add a little bit of glue in here quickly. Okay, now those will set by the sewing machine here to sew. Okay, so. We'll start decorating these. These little ones here, I um, stitched around them and I put eyelets in them. And they're the backs. This one we need to put an eyelet in yet. So I just use my crocodile and I just eyeball where I want it to go. Try to make sure I don't hit this, the thread with the punch. So I just give it a punch. And then I, I put the eyelet in there and then make sure that you put it in there to the where your back is what's gonna crunch. So then I just give that a squeeze and we have an eyelet. So we can hang that from a bulb pin or something. Here's a couple more of those size. I like to bunch up a bunch of thread and you know, the random crazy stitching. Honestly, I messed up on one of them, so that's what I did, but I ended up by liking it. That's how it looks cute. I think this was the one I messed up on, and then I just decided to go around it a couple times. But this one, the size on this one, is three and a half by three inches. And so you could slide that in a pocket or paper clip it in somewhere, put an envelope, all kinds of different things you can do with them. Okay, let's decorate these. Get my mess here for my punch. So what I'm gonna use to decorate them is just some um, pieces here that I purchased a digital kit from um, Love Junk Journals. I'll leave a, a link in the description. It's called Random Sciency Labels. And they're really neat. And I printed them on sticker paper. And there's all different kinds of sizes and they work really good for for making specimen cards. So there's all kinds of different things. So none of these are inked or anything yet, so we'll have to do that. Let's just start with, start with this one. This is the only one I have right now in this shape. 
So let's see, we're going to need a label or something on there. Something tall, like something tall. It doesn't have to be. I could do something up and down. But they're really neat, see? And there's all kinds of different sizes, so. Okay. Let's see if we would let back Add a little bit of fabric on there. Hmm. I think I like that on there. I'm going to distress this sticker a little bit. And again, I'm just using the black soot because I used it with the rest of it. I could use the vintage photo on this, on the labels, but this one's right here. Okay, let's just, I like that on there, so. Just gonna put a little bit of Fabri-Tac down. A little bit of lace. I like making these because you can be really random with your decorating on. Okay, this is a sticker, like I said, on the back of it. If I can get it peeled apart, I struggle with these. So just bear with me here. The quicker I try and go, the, the longer it takes me, I think. Okay. It is a sticker, but it will peel up and definitely means I'm putting it over fabric. I'm gonna use some Scotch Create glue here and just rub it over that. Put some glue on it. I'm just gonna stick that right on there. Okay. okay, I'm wondering if we need a little number on there or something. Okay, I think I like that one down there. This one will be a challenge for me to peel apart. I can't even hang on to it. But I just love these little labels. I think they're so cute. Sometimes you're just looking for that little something to add on to something. These work perfect for that. And I was lucky enough, two of my girls fussy cut them for me, so I didn't have to do that. That was nice. I'm wondering if I should have just printed them on cardstock because I used the glue anyways, and I struggle so badly with these labels. I had some one time that they were like, in, the backing was in strips, and so you could, you know, you could peel it up that way, but this one's like a full sheet, so when you cut them out, it's almost impossible for me. I don't have any fingernails or anything, so. Okay, again, I'm gonna just put a little bit of glue stick on there. I'm just gonna pop that in the corner. And there we have that one. In the back of this one, I'm just gonna leave as it is. You could journal on it, or maybe you wanna stick this down. Maybe you wanna glue on these three sides and use that as a pocket, you know, where you could have, you know, your tag could slide in there, let's see, you know, as a pocket itself. That would be kinda neat. So maybe we'll call this one a pocket. Okay, so we have that one. Let's see here. I kind of was thinking that um, the brown lace that I used on those and um, on that one. Let's see, I have some bulb pins here. I think I want to use the black ones. And I have some of that little lace I had snipped up. And then I have a couple little pieces of white lace. And I'm just going to, let's see, I'm just going to hang that on there. But first I want the little piece. Hmm. Okay. 
and that one. I wonder if it's gonna be too wide. I think it'll work, yeah. See, then you can hang this on a belly band on your spine, anything. But I think we'll put that on there. Let's see here, I'm gonna look. Um, there's any little tiny things in here. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm thinking maybe a button or something. I don't have my buttons right by me, so. Yeah, I don't think I'm finding what I'm looking for in here. Okay. I think I'll add a button on there later on, but I'm gonna add a label on here, maybe a, a longer skinny one on the bottom. Maybe not, maybe the, I like that one on there. It's completely opposite of long and skinny one, but it works. It's raining so hard here. It's just like, I think I could take a nap just listening to the sound of it. It's so peaceful. And I should have peeled these stickers off ahead of time. Yeah, that one wasn't so bad. So there we have that one. I think it's really cute. And you can add some more. You know, we could put more on there, but and you could journal on the back a little bit. So we have that one done. So let's just kind of do that with this one too. Okay, a little piece of lace on here. And then a piece of the brown one. And we're just gonna stick that in the eyelet. Yeah, I think I'm definitely gonna find a button or something to put in front of that. Okay, so we need to find a label. That one will work. I want to see, this is, a, I believe, a one-inch circle. No, nope, it's a one-and-a-quarter-inch punch that I used on those ones. Whoa, look at that, guys. First try. Now the next one I won't get. <laughs> I glue my fingers to everything. Okay. Okay. So there we have another one in the back. Okay, so two more here, let's see. I think I'm just gonna use the black ones on these, the silver ones back. This works really good to add something on there when you have, you know, like little pieces that you're not, you don't, you know, what are you gonna do with them? It adds so much to put them on there if you can get them on there. <laughs> I don't want it to go through there, it's gonna pull through there, so I'm trying to get it, there we go, that'll work. Okay. Um, let's see, I did that backwards, I think. Did I? Okay, so I'm gonna put this on, no, I need to do this first. That's what I was doing wrong. Okay, now that I found the right spot to put that in. <laughs> okay, back in business, guys. Okay, so this one doesn't, I don't want something really, I don't really want anything too big. 
Put another little oval here. Let's see. I'm going to use the little tiny one because I like to be able to see the stitching around that. Okay, come on, sticker, work with me. Ha! Okay, adding some glue. Just going to put that one right underneath of it. You have another one. You can't really journal much on there, but on a spine or something, it would work. Okay, one more. I don't really like the brown on that one. Um, let's see here. I got over here. What if I just did a narrower piece longer here? We're just going to try one. It just gives it a little bit of texture on the side. And, okay. I think I definitely use more of the tiny labels for, well, I'm just doing the little ones right now, but, you know, the little things. Hmm. Here we have a little, another little tiny one. This one says, for private use. Hmm, interesting. Come on, sticker. There we go. Okay, there we have another one. I'll probably put a button on that one too. Maybe it's a green button or something. Let's see, I might have a little green button right here. Um, ooh, what about a leaf? I have a little leaf. That'll be cute on there. I don't know if you can see that. It's a little plastic leaf. Yeah, that's really cute on there, I think. So, okay. So we have that one. Okay, I think we're all done with those ones. So we have these two. Okay, so you can journal on the back here, so I don't need to put anything on the back of that one back of this one you can journal on um okay let's see here i have some of the cardstock from the when i trimmed those and cut those over here so i can make a little pocket on there I'm just going to eyeball cut it. 
which I can't do straight, but we're going to try it. Ink around the edge of that. I wonder if I could put a little punch in there, like a little tiny, let's see, I can maybe see better, easier with this one. Maybe I won't even be able to tell what it is, but maybe if I widen it a little bit. Oh, I shouldn't have done that probably. No, I don't like that. <laughs> That one's kind of rough, but it works. Okay, so I could go and stitch around this, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to put that on there. A little pocket. Oh, my glue doesn't want to work. I didn't check it. Hold on. Sorry, guys. I never remember to check this. I think I would learn because every time I don't, that's when it doesn't want to work. Still isn't the best, but we'll just try and get a little bit on there. I could use the fabric tag too, but okay. Let's see, I know why it does that because I just plop that thing on top of it. I don't wipe it off. I should wipe it off, but I don't, so it's my own fault. Okay, so let's find, let's see, there's a little, I want to find hmm, something we can put in the pocket. Plants of Virginia, it says. Never been to Virginia, but I'm sure they have pretty flowers. Um, I'm going to trim this one down a little bit. And uh, this is a sticker, so I'm going to have to put it on some of that cardstock. Okay. I'm going to ink around the edges of that. Just grab a piece of cardstock here, flip it over, and oh, I like the back on that one. I think I'll find a different one. Do you guys do that? I think we all do, actually. I'm just gonna go ahead and use this here. Get a little journal on there. Okay, label. Note to self, don't print them all on stickers. Put some of them on cardstock. You glue it anyway. Okay. So I'm just going to stick that on this little piece of cardstock so that it's, you know, stiffer, like a little card to put in there. Just going to trim around it. Put a little more ink on there now. Okay, in the back. Okay, we're gonna tuck that in the pocket. And then I think we need a little, if I can find a little something in here that would go with it. Look here, we have some little pieces that would have fit in the pocket. Hmm, what about just a little stamp? Let's do that. Okay, and then maybe a little, let's see, 
a little label on there. Yes, I like that one on there. I'm just very lightly inking the edge of that one because I kind of like the outline of it on there. Let's see. There we go. So a cute little pocket with a couple little things stuck in there. So we have another one. We have one more here. What do we do want to do on this one? Um, let's see here. I like that one on there. I think the round ones are easier to peel off when they're cut round or oval. It doesn't help when I have chubby little fingers, so. And no fingernails. Okay, so I'm just gonna stick that on there. And then I did see in here, I think a little mushroom or something that maybe you could put down there. I thought there was a little, I thought I'd seen a little one in here, but maybe not. Just don't know if I like that on there or not. We'll just keep digging until we find something. Let's just poke that one on there. You can take stamps and ink around these, you know, in the background and stuff. There's all kinds of stuff you can do with them. They're fun to put in journals. Oh, I'm trying to peel a sticker off. This is not a sticker. Hello, you guys are, I'm sure, saying, hello, it's not a sticker. Okay. All of a sudden it starts to work as I squeeze on it. Okay, that's definitely a little more glue than we need, so. Okay. I'm just gonna pop that one on there, and I like that one on there. So there we have another one. Let's see. So I think that's all. The rest of them need to be sewn around. So I'm just, I'm going to end this one here and then sew around them. I have a couple other ones cut out too. So we'll just, we didn't make this one today, but it, it's the bigger size that I was showing. So I'll just keep it with these ones. But we made this one, the pocket and the little tags that pull out or ephemera. This one, you know, on this here one, I wonder Let's see, no, I think I'm gonna leave it. So we made this one, this one, 
this one, this one, I didn't make them all, we decorated them, this one, I like the washi stickers I think, and the little one we're going to call a pocket. So I hope you were inspired from this video and give it a try. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your day and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.